the order to drop in two days. Animated TV series creatures. And is Arc 2 to be revealed at the Xbox Games Showcase? You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, the community crunch just dropped, and I'm surprised we've seen no trailer revealed. I fully expected them to drop a trailer tonight. We know they're making one. GG Fizz kind of talked about one in our live show a few weeks ago, but no, no trailer today. Maybe speculating that we're going to get one on launch day. They've done that before, they've dropped the trailer on the very same day as launch day. But I thought, you know, maybe a day or two before we might get it a bit early. But no, it hasn't happened. Instead, we got a new look at the Fenrir, the modded creature that's on Fjorda already, that's going to come to the official version of Fjorda, recreated in artwork form by the very talented Mr. Fuego once again. Artwork looks very similar to the same Fenrir that's in the modded version. But what's that we spy in the bottom corner? A runestone, you ask? Yes, there are already runestones of sorts in the modded version of Fjorda, though they don't actually do anything apart from being an aesthetically pleasing thing. But why put it in this image? Are they going to have serve some relevance this time around? Are they going to allude to something that we can unlock further on in the game? Perhaps, maybe. But there is one thing about this Fenrir that is going to be new and that is as the devs say what we do know is Fenrir does not respond to conventional taming methods meaning it's not the knockout tame it once was in the mud how are you going to tame this we don't know we're going to have to find that out on the launch day of course it being very very soon when is it on june the 12th that's in two days depending on what time zone you're in at 10 a.m pt that's around 6 p.m in the uk and a very much later time in the morning for you unfortunate people over in the Australian time zones and it's coming in with a big big size we've covered this before a big 40 gig on Xbox TBD for PlayStation so we're expecting around the same for PlayStation and 20 gig on PC it's coming in it's still on time there are no delays to our surprise making wildcard perform almost the hat trick well a second map has been released on time following the last island release that one dropping on time too can we get a third i don't know if there's going to be a third that would make it arc two wouldn't it and there's not really much more to depict here to go through the creature details once again that we've seen before acknowledging once again the andrew sarkis is pretty damn fast with a mounted minigun on top that rotates 360 degrees the desmodus looking to hang out in dark places aka the aberration cave that we covered in the 0.25 times trailer which you gotta check out if you haven't already and the fjord hawk and its wonderful abilities of being able to take your loot body off your dead bag and take it to you how that works i can't wait to see how this one in particular works what i'm going to be interested in seeing as well is it going to fly to dead carcasses and taking the loot off them meaning in a pvp scenario this could actually be very very useful and one thing to note as well talking about that 0.25 times trailer that we went into detail finding that there are a lot of differences and not to make a guide just yet or even follow one because i think there's going to be a lot of differences the fenrir is included in that it is going to be different what more is going to be different to this map we haven't got much longer to wait it is just around the corner once again we got to see the molnir which is going to offer you some tech abilities when attached to a tech sword and that's the only skin they've gone into detail yet no mention of these viking skins that you can get in the mod version we are really hoping those viking skins come along and drop with that official version it just creates a new incentive especially to explore caves and find them dotted around in these random chest crates i hope they do bring them but alas nothing mentioned today we'll have to wait and see if they do transpire to the official version too a new season of conquest servers is rolling out with fjorda as well if you're into those only on pc i'm afraid to say and will be rolled out to other maps in a sequential day order and you've also got a mega evo event yes it's only two times yes it's only xp harvesting and taming no breeding but it runs until monday the 20th that's right that's over a week 
of Evo stuffs for you to fully enjoy on officials if you plan to. And that is including for your order, allowing you to get a bit of a step up if you're going to play on official. So the animated TV series, we talked about this a few weeks ago that, yes, we are going to see some news pretty soon. It was confirmed by Doug the Head, I believe, and Jeremy that things were coming, dropping on the horizon. I had hoped we might see something at the Netflix event where they released a bunch of stuff that was coming out on that platform. And no, it wasn't there. I watched the entire showcase. No arc reveals were there, alluding that this will definitely not be on a Netflix platform. It's going to be on something else. There are some speculations to it being on HBO and that hopefully might transpire to Amazon Prime over here in the UK and where else. I don't know. We don't know. There's nothing really actually been cementfully confirmed yet, but there has been some new news about it. Jeremy the Big Dog, co-founder of Wildcard, came out with a tweet just today explaining that, yes, we are going to see every island creature within the first 14 episodes of Ark, the animated TV series. That's right, every single creature is gonna be in that running of episodes. Though I'm speculating, are we going to see the Broodmother, Megapithecus, and Dragon within those creature lists because they are creatures on the island? And does that mean the Tech Cave stuff included as well and the Overseer? Are we going to see all of that? I really hope we do the full exploration journey of the animated TV series. It's once again being created by Lex and Otis. If you don't know, are a very, very talented team coming from work such as Batman, The Dark Knight. Some of their works before has been fantastic to see. And somebody did reach out to me to tell me all of the music has been done for this. And a big shout out to you, mate. Though I'm not going to reveal it here because it's not really confirmed. It could just be a rumor, but you know, it's a thing to put out there that makes a little bit more cement concrete proof towards the animated TV series coming soon. And with an outstanding lineup, I think I've covered this to death, you should know by now, the list of actors that are dropping on this screen right now is phenomenal, comparable to some of the big blockbuster movies out there. When are we going to see some details on this? Who knows? I think we might possibly see a roll in with an art to reveal if everything is pointing to what it should be pointing to. And that is, of course, the Xbox Games Showcase, where I do still firmly believe we are going to see Ark 2 there. But there's been some news out there recently by said the community manager, kind of squashing those hopes, telling the wider community not to get too hyped on unconfirmed news. And it's totally right. Everything I tell you is speculation. Well, unless I say it's completely fact, I will always tell you it is speculation. There is nothing to prove that this is coming to the Xbox Game Showcase, of course, the ARC 2 reveal, but there's too many pieces of puzzles to put together for it not to be. For one thing, I think that tweet was more directed at the ARC France Twitter account, where they kind of alluded to be an official arc announcer and a lot of news articles out there took this ran with it and it just went like wildfire we covered that in the news feature a few days ago and i think it's just covering their basis on that but i do still firmly believe why do i firmly believe because let's put some things together one xbox game showcase is at launching at 6 p.m bst uk time what else is launching at the same time for yorda why are they releasing that at the exact same time as the Xbox game, that's not the one, as the Xbox game showcase on a Sunday when the devs don't have to really work as hard as they need to on a weekend, but they're going to pull everybody out to work on a weekend on a Sunday to drop the map to you. Why would they do that? Because there's something bigger, deeper going down. Why would they just not release this in the week when it's a bit easier for them to be around, to turn around stuff? Like, why give themselves a headache over a weekend? Because something is going down, it has to. Now, perhaps it may not be R2. Perhaps it is just Fiorda. But come on, I don't think it's going to be an announcement for Fiorda during the Xbox showcase. It's got to be R2. Now, I know, I could be sitting here watching the entire thing with Jade, which I will be, and probably missing out on some great Fiora content while you're all out there enjoying the map, and I'll certainly be jumping on that as soon as I can straight after this, but it's going to happen. I've got hats at the ready to eat if it doesn't, but <laughs> let's see. Again, as said, did say, 
Don't believe the hype. Don't believe me if you choose not to. I am purely speculating. It is just a theory. I'm putting two and two together. Arc 2 is going to drop at the Xbox Game Showcase. It may not, but I am certain it's going to. And if it doesn't, then it happens. I will sit there, I will eat some hats, and I will profusely apologize if you felt like I was leading you on, but I hope you didn't, because once again, it is all just a theory. But if it is, oh my God. We saw a glimmer at the Summer Games Fest, literally a frame of Ark, and it was just talking about it being part of the game's past, showing some previous Ark map trailer stuff, and my heart skipped a beat just for that. So if something drops during this, when now it's seemingly very unexpected because said has now kind of said, it's gonna be a real shocker if it does. And I'm going to stand my ground, who's with me? Probably not anyone, because you're all gonna be busy playing Fjorda, and I'll see you there playing Fjorda myself when I can, straight after this. But if not, come and tune in to this with me and Jade as we react to it and see what it's all about. It's going off. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, oh, peace out.